New York City wants the world to know it's back in business. More than a year after the pandemic shut the city down, visitors are now allowed to travel to the Big Apple. Big open arms for you here. The five boroughs will be full of activities all summer long. Joining us now to talk about just the myriad of things that are available is Chris Haywood, the executive vice president with NYC and Company. Chris, we are so glad to have you here, and I know you are looking forward to this summer. I mean, wow, right? Your NYC and Company must be so excited. Absolutely. As I was hearing you say that, it was just complete music to my ears because, <laughs> you know, we have been waiting a very long time for the city to reopen for business, and we literally are reawakening, and it's such a joyous moment. Yeah. I think for so many people, not only New Yorkers, but people who have just been waiting uh, to come to this amazing place. Juneteenth, Saturday, June yes. 19th, uh, and there's a lot of vibe out there now about that, um, and just talking about connecting with people and, uh, you know, honoring what that means in history as far as the Emancipation Proclamation and the enslaved people in Texas who found out a couple of years later uh, that they were free. Um, so what kind of Juneteenth activities, uh, tributes will you uh, be talking about, will you have listed uh, for the yeah. city? Well, you know, this is such an important moment to really celebrate our black culture, celebrate the liberation of black people, and to be reminded of the racial injustice that so much of this population still faces. And so I think it's been a really uh, great opportunity for us to spotlight, um, spotlight this moment and to also highlight some of the cultural opportunities. Um, there will be a great Juneteenth Freedom Festival going on at the Snug Harbor Cultural Center in Staten Island mm -hmm. um, with more than 50 Staten Island organizations. So I think that's a great opportunity. Um, the Brooklyn Museum is doing something um, and they'll have a special ride around the historical sites of Brooklyn. And we're really pretty pleased to have this new video series, Freedom to Be, mm -hmm. that's featured on our official tourism website, nycgo.com. And we just released this amazing video showcasing a subculture um, of the black community, uh, highlighting surfing in the Rockaways. And there is a, a group of black surfers that have taken up this amazing pastime right here in the Rockaways in Queens. And it's a great opportunity to celebrate that. And we've um, put a beautiful video together where you can kind of see this, um, see this beautiful tribute and really try to appreciate and understand the importance that the black community brings and to really just understand um, the struggles that they still face and to really embrace these, uh, these new opportunities. So we're gonna do all we can. We actually have a whole site on our uh, website dedicated to the black experience in New York City. It includes um, visitor guides to different neighborhoods like Bedford-Stuyvesant and Jamaica. And we're really looking to just open people's eyes into the opportunities and the culture that exists right here in our city. The entire black diaspora is right here in New York City. And I believe we have the largest black population in the United States right here in New York. So how do we celebrate that? And how do we take a moment to commemorate um, this important moment in, in our history? Well, one on one with respect, uh, you know, is the most simple way uh, eye contact and just respect for each other. The video, I watched the video of the surfers and just listening to the interviews that you had as well and their yeah. passion. And guess what? Black people like water too. I mean, you know, exactly. these are shared experiences and the thrill of feeling the board under their feet and just, you know, how much they enjoy it. The man who he's lived there for about 15 years, just the passion um, was, was it, I could feel it through the video, let alone you can sign up for it and be a part of that or, or go watch them. Yeah, and Diane Cardwell was such an inspiration as well. And just seeing all the children mm -hmm. um, that, were, that are out there, you know, young black people that are enjoying our water, um, like you're saying, connecting to it. And uh, and that's, that's something that um, we should just continue to promote. We're going to be finding different ways to highlight um, all opportunities and highlight um, some of these subcultures that maybe we don't think about. And um, maybe we're stereotypical or people are stereotyping and not appreciating just what um, the black community wants to do, can do, and um, how, do we, how do we celebrate that and embrace that. So that's really our goal. 
And I'm really proud of the work that our team has been doing uh, under the direction of our, um, our multicultural content director, Rondell Holder. He's um, really been doing a lot. He's a, he's a new staff member helping us, um, you know, showcase and, and, and spotlight this important um, culture right here in our city. So I think it's gonna be exciting. I do too, and, um, I do too. Yeah, so there's more opportunities. It's not just gonna be around Juneteenth, it's gonna be a year long effort. Well, that is the most important thing. That's uh, just so cool. Chris Haywood, Executive Vice President with uh, NYC and company. And thank you so much. This is really exciting and hope to have you back as well. Good luck, thank have a great summer. Yes, happy summer and thank you for making it in New York City. Yes. For more information on NYC and companies, just plethora of activities, of things to do in the city this summer, check out their website, nycgo.com.